everyone and welcome to another mod review. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Romance in France mod by Nando. This is a brand new mod that replaces Magnolia Promenade and turns it into the city of Paris. I'll be going over all the details in just a second. I will read you the official press release and then we will go ahead and take a look at this gorgeous world. I'm so excited to show you guys. This mod is available for early access on Nando's Patreon on August 22nd, 2020. And then it is available to the public later in September. There is not an official release date yet, but you guys can follow Nando on Twitter. I'll put that information below as well. And I will also update the information in this video once I find out the official public release date. But let's go ahead and take a look at what is in store for us for this mod. So the official press post says, this mod transforms the world of Magnolia Promenade into a romantic getaway inspired by the city of lights, Paris. Travel to the city for a romantic honeymoon or just enjoy a great day at the street food marketplace. This project has been a solo project, meaning there is no custom content coming with this pack. However, there is plenty of great custom content French-inspired furniture on the internet. The development time took about three months and wouldn't have been possible thanks to my patrons and help from some friends to make this mod a full experience. Features. Completely revamped world with new skyscrapers, new eye candy in the landscape, and an Eiffel Tower that lights up at night. Also an adjusted map icon and new map view. An important note, the packs that are required for this mod are Get to Work, City Living, and Discover University. Recommended pack is Eco Lifestyle. However, Eco Lifestyle is not required. This mod doesn't come with new lots, meaning you'll have to manually remove and replace the lots from Magnolia Promenade to get the full experience. The name of the world is still going to appear as Magnolia Promenade. However, there are tutorials on how to change that manually for each save on YouTube, and I will put those links to those tutorials in the video description below. So we will start by seeing the world icon. So this is it. So again, it will still show up as Magnolia Promenade on here until you make those changes. But we have a little Eiffel Tower in there, so that's really cute. And then this is the world map. I did download some things from the gallery to make it feel more like Paris. I will link the information to those downloads. I'll put the username and the name of the build in the description below just in case you wanted to download these specifically, but I just typed in Paris into the gallery search and searched for most popular, and this is what came up. So yeah, I'm excited. We have our little Eiffel Tower here, and then of course we have our four little lots here, but let's go ahead and take a look at the actual world. I'm really excited for this. I'm going to show it to you in the daytime and at night because it is very cool to look at when the Eiffel Tower lights up. So this is the new world. It is completely different than what Magnolia Promenade was before. There is so much more added to it. It is now a very much like city vibe because of course Paris is a city. We have the Eiffel Tower in the center here and it's just been completely revamped. It looks gorgeous. This is such a nice place to have a little romantic date. There's also a file. So there's two files you can choose from when you download Nando's World Mods. There's a destination file where you can turn the world into a destination world. And then there is the other one which turns it into the livable world. This is also great for me because if you don't know my channel, I have a royal family Let's Play series and I have like seven different kingdoms. My Willow Creek kingdom is inspired by France, so it's nice to have this actual city like Paris where they can go and visit. So this will just be an extension of my Willow Creek kingdom. I actually have two of my Sims going on a date here. So this is Prince Cornelius. He is the heir to the Willow Creek throne in my royal family series. I have him on on a date with his boyfriend, Alice. However, he is just on the computer right now, but this was a little restaurant that I downloaded. So they're having their little date so we can go walk and I'm gonna have them get off the computer so we can see what's going on here. So this is really cute. They have this little, and this is mentioned in the post as well. They have a little street cart, street cart, street food cart. So they have lots of tea here and then some foods as well. So I'm going to actually, I know they're at a restaurant, but I'm just going to have them order from here. So I'll have Cornelius order there. I'm gonna have Ellis, we'll have them order some tea and they can share. And we have the park that I believe was already here for Magnolia Promenade. But yeah, I just remember Magnolia Promenade, like not having much going on there. I never used Magnolia Promenade. I think I might've used it a few times when I first got the world, but 
but I have not used it in like over a year. So it's nice to have this place that we can go. I think this is really cute. And also if you have not seen Nando's other world mods, you guys really need to check them out. He has a mod called Asian Adventures, which turns Forgotten Hollow into a Japanese inspired world called Sakura Hills. And then he has another mod called Trip to Egypt that turns Strangerville into an Egypt inspired world. So I have two mod reviews on those. I will put those video links below. And then I believe he has another one that I did not know of, but that came out a while ago. I think it was his first one that turned Granite Falls into like a tropical world. So I'm sure you guys can see that on Nando's page as well. I'm linking his Patreon below. I'll link his Twitter below so you guys can get all that information. Please consider supporting Nando on Patreon. Nando has come out with all of these amazing mods definitely deserves the support. He put so much work into this. It's just so pretty, so amazing. I love being able to have just more diverse worlds in the game. This is just gorgeous. Like, look how pretty this is. I love this. All right, so I have made it nighttime. I've made it about 11 p.m. at night. And this is the world all lit up. So you guys can see the Eiffel Tower with the lights on it. The entire city lights up too. It's gorgeous. Of course, this is known for the city of lights. So I feel like Nando definitely delivered on that. You can see all the gorgeous stars in the sky. It's just such, it's such a pretty view. I love this so much. This is honestly so romantic. Like this is such a great spot for your Sims to go on a date, to go on their honeymoon, especially too. You can put some lots to be hotels here, have them stay here. You can put restaurants and it's just beautiful. Nando did such a great job. Again, all of his worlds are amazing. This one did not disappoint. I'm also just like so impressed because this world only has like four lots, but just the way that Nando made it look, it just looks so big. But yeah, I think I might actually use this world now, which I'm really excited about. So let me know your thoughts on this mod. If you download it, let me know what you guys think. If this video was helpful and if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.